I love politics. I love social justice. Anything which you know affects me through the news or through social media, uh, through pop culture, I'd imbue these narratives within my work and sort of make a social commentary. I want to challenge people's perception of certain things. To not, you know, toe the line all the time. The miniature labyrinths, they're like architectural models. They contain sort of narratives within them. So I used it as a medium to transition between my architectural practice and my art practice. All the mazes, all the labyrinths, which has one way in, and, or multiple ways in, but one way out. It has a lot of hidden elements, which sort of guides people to meander through and get lost and you know, discover um, hidden pathways. Perhaps another way of bringing across a different point of view. So I start with two-dimensional drawings and then transpose them into a piece of cardboard and I start cutting and building. So it's a process of building and making as opposed to a process of sculpting. So I put figurines within them and I would chop and change them and I repaint them and to do whatever I want them to do. People are intrigued by small things. People are intrigued by scale. You can make something which is small, doesn't mean it's telling anything, but if you combine it with proportion and scale and the amount of detail that is necessary to bring across the audience your full message and bring them on the journey. This great artist, Steve Cox, he said to me, the role of the artist is to actually drive the conversation, to challenge people, but if you're just making something which is for me like to sell and to make money and for your client, then you're not doing yourself justice as an artist.